Hey everyone, I hope that wherever you are and whatever you're doing, you are having a fantastic weekend. I hope that today I'm doing some gardening. Yesterday, so Saturday, I spent the entire day doing charity work with the League of Extraordinary Floofs. And if you don't know what that is and you want to know, go to my personal YouTube channel, which is linked below, and you'll see a little bit of a video about the League and what we do and some of the stuff we do. So we went to a a food bank um, charity fun run in the morning where we were just you know helping entertain people and then in the evening we headed up Mount Hood and had fun in the snow uh, again for a charity that time it was for a cancer charity for children so um, today I'm kind of just kicking back and having fun in the garden at least I hope so I mean it's Friday when I record this so you know what whatever it's been a really busy interesting week in the world of electric vehicles and despite getting a little frustrated with uh, some of the people who've been saying you know uh, what amounts to pointless nonsense in the comments section about how um every other electric car company is lying and they're not serious and and all of that which you know frankly gets old these days i mean i, I really hope that you don't treat japanese and german people uh badly because of world war ii companies can change so let's hope that 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 you know companies change new ceos come and go and and i think a lot of the car companies that are getting a lot of heat these days don't deserve all of the heat they're getting they, they might deserve some of it but not all of it um and there are some changes being made and there are some positive things happening and i think as a community we need to celebrate all of the positivity rather than uh, complain and say that someone's not doing a good enough job um something is better than nothing and i think you know you catch more flies with honey than you do with vinegar. Enough said, that's not going to be my rant for today. What I want to talk to you about today is surviving a natural disaster with your electric car. Um, so I'm reading a book at the moment. I'm, I'm listening to a book on my phone on Audible. Um, and it's called Outland by Dennis E. Taylor. It's a really good book. Um, it's about what happens when some university students uh, create a portal into an alternative version of Earth and then there's a big um, and, and they initially go over to, to mine for gold so that they can pay for their university education and then they realize uh, that there's been a, a big earthquake uh, sorry not an earthquake um, Yellowstone blows basically a massive massive mega volcano event which has the potential to obliterate life on earth and it got me thinking about and, and of course they they disappear off to the the new version of earth that they've discovered so they're fine but it got me thinking about how we would survive a massive natural disaster like a mega volcano or anything like that you know i live in the pacific northwest so we have the potential to have a massive earthquake all the scientists are telling us that the massive earthquake is is due to happen the big one is due to happen kind of any time in the next hundred or so years we're also you know i live in an area where there's plenty of volcanoes uh, obviously um i can see mount st helens not from my house but if i drive down the road i can see both mount st helens and also mount hood quite easily so i'm in the volcanic uh, volcanic even ac activity area you could tell it's the end of the week because i'm getting tired um but there are plenty of other natural disasters you know fire um, floods, all of those other things. And it got me thinking about ways that we can use electric vehicles to, to, to keep our lives as normal as possible. Um, and so I'm interested to see if you guys have ever used an electric vehicle um, to keep your everyday life going, whether it's, you know, running an inverter, which I've done in the past, a mains inverter from your car's um, battery pack to keep your car to keep your house sorry running or the, the 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 refrigerator running and basic essential items running when there's a power cut or whether it's um, you know lending your car to a local uh, community so that you can keep essential medical items um, cool in an emergency I know that um, certainly in the Caribbean with some of the storms that have been passing through over the last couple of years electric vehicles have been essential to keeping um, communications and everything else running because a lot of the gas stations use uh, electricity to pump the fuel from the tanks in the ground and of course electric vehicles can be charged using 
uh, off-grid means, as long as you've got a way of converting uh, the sunlight from a solar, uh, the sunlight into electricity using solar panels, and then obviously into a battery pack. And obviously, we've got Tesla's got plenty of products coming to market already on the market that allow you to um, to store energy that you've generated on your roof in a battery pack in a power wall, so you can then feed it out. There are all alternatives to power wall out in the marketplace. But I want to know um, what ways you've used an electric vehicle to survive a natural disaster and also if something as cataclysmic as say uh, Yellowstone happening happened um, what would you do would you be able to use your electric vehicle to keep yourself safe um, obviously you'd have to deal with things like volcanic ash and things like that um, but you'd also have to deal with with obviously having no power are you ready for that how would you prepare for that I'd love to know your stories leave them below because I think you know, it's very easy for us in, in today's modern world, you know, we plug things into a wall um, and electricity comes out of the wall magically. Um, but if there was ever a natural disaster that knocked out all of our power, our main grid power, would you be ready? Would you be able to use your car? Would you be able to get water? Um, I know I couldn't if, if we lost power and it's something that we're working on right now. But maybe in the future we could use our electric car to ensure that we could still pump fresh water from the, from the well from the ground um, and also ensure that everything else runs smoothly. That's it for today's thoughts of the Sunday, Sunday musing even. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Support us using Patreon Kofi or buying some swag from our swag store. I'm going to go and lie down for a bit now because, you know, I think I've had a busy week. I'll see you tomorrow. Keep evolving. Keep evolving.